So I want to tell you a story about somebody that I know extremely well. This guy was in his early 20s, office job, sitting all day long, um, was excellent at his job, but miserable in life. Um, he would get comfort from sweets, different junk foods, cookies, you name it, that was his comfort food for that immediate release of comfort. But when he stood in front of the mirror and looked at himself, he didn't feel great. In fact, he felt terrible. This was a vicious cycle of feeling terrible, needing that instant satisfaction and comfort, until one day something changed. He decided to go to the gym with one of his friends. That friend and him set out a plan of committing to the gym five days a week. And it was hard. They both didn't really like it at the beginning. And they just did it. They just made it consistent part of their new routine. Shortly after that, it started to become a little bit more enjoyable in the sense that they liked the results that were coming from it. A little bit more energy. The mood was starting to increase. The depression and the terrible thoughts slowly started to get better. And over time, over the course of a year, this person really loved himself a little bit more than before. And which was amazing because honestly, he hated himself. He really hated the world too. He was a grumpy individual. Um, but that changed over the course of the year. And so this person left their job and decided to go back to school and become a personal trainer. Throughout that next year of after becoming a personal trainer, because he had an addictive personality, he pursued the body, bodybuilding aspect, specifically the physique category. And over the next year of training, intense workouts, three hours a day, um, before the competition, started to suffer from injuries because three hour workouts just aren't great for the body. It's too much. And did his dream of accomplishing that competition, gained all the experience and knowledge from it, and guess what? He had an opportunity of getting more knowledge, but this time it was from physiotherapists and chiropractors because he needed to work on himself. He needed to rehabilitate his body from the year of three hour workouts every single day. And with all that knowledge and empathy, he started to grow even more. And his database of knowledge expanded immensely over the next couple of years. And he doesn't feel that depressed feeling anymore, that anger, that hatred. And he continues to work out harder, but smarter. Instead of three hour workouts, 45 minute workouts, and that consistent routine five days a week keeps them happy. And the mental and physical aspect of consistency is amazing. He was able to achieve his dream of the ideal body. And although he doesn't focus solely on looks, it's more about the mental health, the side effect of working out properly and healthily over a decade, the physique also came, which was a nice little bonus. So why am I telling you this story? Because I think it's really important to know why TurnFit does what they do. We focus on mental health first. And the side effect is always the body, the image afterwards. We don't focus on the body image. We focus on being a stronger, more confident you. Somebody that feels empowered, that has the knowledge to not only help themselves, but to help everybody around them. Because unfortunately, when you feel shitty, everybody else around you feels shitty. But when you feel amazing, you can uplift others. And wouldn't that be nice?